Hello, Calvary. Today, we are going to continue to discuss our new identity in Jesus. If you've ever read 1 Corinthians, you know that it's a pretty messed up church. There were a lot of things going wrong in the church. They were arguing, getting drunk during communion, misusing their spiritual gifts, suing each other in court, and bragging about their sexual immorality. To this unruly bunch, the Apostle Paul reminds them of their new identity in Christ. In 1 Corinthians 6.17, Paul wrote, But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. That's really quite a statement. It's almost too hard to fully comprehend. When you and I are joined to the Lord, we become so connected to Him that we become one spirit with Him. I don't know of anyone else that we join and become one spirit with. If you join a sports team, you are easily separated from that team. If you join two items together with glue, uh, those items don't become one. They are just two separate things that are stuck together. The closest thing that I can think of is putting a few drops of food coloring into a glass of water. You know what that looks like. You have a crystal clear glass of water. You put a few drops of red food coloring in it, stir it around a bit, and then you have a red glass of water. The water isn't going to be clear again. It's joined together. It's become one, inseparable. When we are joined to Jesus, we become one spirit. The Holy Spirit indwells us. He seals us. He changes us. A few verses later, Paul explains that our body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in us. That's quite an upgrade. We're no longer just our own. We now have a much more important identity. We are united with the Lord and His Holy Spirit indwells us. And this should change the way we live. You remember all those things I said that were going on in the Corinthian church? The pride, arguing, and sexual immorality? Those were inconsistent with the unity that they had with Christ. The internal truth of their identity wasn't influencing the way that they lived. And Paul called them on the carpet and explained a better way. He encouraged them to live in a way that reflected their unity with Jesus. So how about you? Is your identity with Jesus reflected in the way you live? Do you think about the fact that you are one spirit with Jesus? Because you are. If you've turned from your sin and you've trusted in Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're joined with Him. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You can't just live for yourself. To be consistent with your new identity, you must live for Christ. Let me encourage you today. In all that you do, remember the Holy Spirit is right there with you and in you. Thanks for listening today. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the day remembering that you are joined to Christ.